Hey folks, this is your resident Jack of all trades presenter Devar here, welcoming you all to the first installment of Fellow Braver's Riffs. And joining me is fellow Braver and Coolape.org compadre, Frobman. Salut, mes amis. Today we have a magical and whimsical PSA to share with you all, made none other by Walt Disney Productions. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, as I am sure we will too. Wink. Presenting to the only two guys in the room. Ah, one of Disney's classics, alongside Songs of the South. Try our new Cotex Cola. Why is nature always called Mother Nature? Why are you asking us this? Like any mother, she quietly manages so much of our living without our ever realizing there's a woman at work. Women work in 1940. We breathe and sleep and wake up with no more conscious planning than we used in sprouting teeth. And also wake up ready for clown school. Many of our routine bodily processes through automatic control centers called gland. And through Skynet. The story of menstruation really begins with one particular gland. It's located here at the base of the brain, and it's called the pituitary gland. Uh, lady, I think you'll find that's the nerve. The pituitary gland concentrates on producing growth hormones. Busy and why is it so small? The they order the various bones and tissues to get growing. Get and growing, bones! From blocks to dolls to books. That means her body is obeying the orders issued by the pituitary gland. That's not how you spell deoxyribonulic. You aren't following orders! Some girls grow short, some tall, some heavy, and some slight. And some just but don't grow at all. Time, somewhere between the ages of 11 and 17, though about 13 is average, when the pituitary must turn part of its attention to maturing the body which it has grown. Hey, you Tony, I'm maturing this body. out a new type of hormone. Booze. And that is when menstruation begins. When these maturing hormones start coming down through the bloodstream to the ovaries. It's going all over of the place. The ovaries themselves are glands about the size of almonds. Don't know why, but I feel like getting some almonds right now. Although these eggs are too small to be seen by the human eye, any one of them has the possibility of someday becoming a human being. A human being? Near yeah, the I'd ovaries like to see. are the fallopian tubes, short canals which lead to the uterus or womb. This hollow, hollow like my marriage, opens into the vagina. <gasps> she said vagina in a Disney short! My childhood is ruined! So, as you see, Boy, I'll tell you what, this me mouse cartoon sure took a weird turn for the, the worse. Tubes, uterus, and vagina, I the come from West Virginia. These organs function in a continuous cycle. The pituitary gland starts the process when it sends its maturing hormones down through the bloodstream to the ovaries. Now one of the ovaries passes on an order of its own to the uterus. Take down the pancreas. It tells the cells which make up the lining of the uterus to multiply and fill themselves with watery fluids and blood. I hope that isn't my martini. It begins to build up a thickened lining of somewhat velvety material. At the same time, an ovary has been maturing an ovum or egg, which is magnified here so that we can see it. Well, as you know, eggs About are just that hard to see. One of these tiny eggs passes out of the ovary and finds its way into a fallopian tube, where it moves along toward the uterus. It missed the left turn at Albuquerque. Egg which happens when a woman is going to have a child. Lord knows how that happens. We the need universe. another whole short for that. Uh -huh. nourishment for the budding human being through the early days of its development. It starts sponging off of them till they However, get tired of it and kick it out. through the fallopian tubes without being fertilized. When this happens, there's no use for that potential nourishment in the built-up lining of the uterus. And so, in a few days, it passes from the body. This I don't think I like this shot anymore. So, as we see now, menstruation is just one routine step in a normal and natural cycle that is going on continuously within the body. And you're gonna like it! The time between periods is usually about 28 days. 
However, it may be shorter for some girls and longer for others. There's never a middle ground, is there? Anywhere from three days to seven. Any more than seven? Oh, boy! For just as the pituitary gland orders some girls to grow short, some tall, some heavy, and some slight, so and its some square. Of menstruation may differ widely among oh, women. Oh, Susie, you're the such a bitch! The important thing is that you should be fairly regular within yourself. Of course, a girl may be irregular during the first year or so. As irregular as growing an extra eye can be. If settle down into a routine, her period should always be about the same number of days apart and last about the same length of time. It's antsy like that. Try not to throw yourself off schedule by getting overtired, emotionally upset, or catching cold. You know, if your things you can't avoid. Seriously wrong, or you're bothered with severe cramps or headaches. And you're on your own, messy. With your doctor. Of course, you'll want to keep a personal calendar. Mark the first day of each period, and check to see that there are about the same number of days between periods. Be sure to keep this it's away from boyfriends, or they'll think you're crazy. Forward. But it comes in handy when you have to plan ahead. For assassinations? This calendar appears in an interesting booklet called Very Personally Yours. Given to you impersonally? Be prepared to enlarge upon what you learn from this brief film. We want to make things far Among more awkward things, than they already the are. The explodes that old taboo against bathing during your period. Not only can you bathe, you should bathe. Because After watching this, I will. Your perspiration glands are working overtime. Good God, Mother Nature, give him a whole day already. Very hot water or very cold water. You'd be a dumbass if you did any it's one of those. It's not a good idea at any time to shock your system with extremes. Any more than to let yourself get chilled or to catch cold. And as for the old taboo against exercise, that's nonsense. We exercise execute those who even mention it. Administration. Just use common sense. Which this girl obviously does not have. Most of your daily routine is on the mild side. It's going to extremes that's wrong and to be avoided. And it also grants you super strength. To most girls, the menstrual period should bring no severe discomfort. Unless you jab a nail in it. A feeling of pressure in the lower part of the body, perhaps an occasional twinge or a touch of nerves. Hey, lighten up. You could have been part of a PSA short up. No matter oh. how you feel, you have to live with people. You have to live with yourself, too. Doesn't that depress you even more? Sorry for yourself and take those days in your stride. You'll find it's easier to keep smiling and even-tempered. It's the 1940s. Lie about how you feel. Oh, come now. We said practically everything. Hey, down, girl, down. Sense care of yourself. Exercises to relieve cramps are illustrated in the booklet. Try them. With the guidance of a qualified person, you may find they help. And then that shadow flies and away. Do something about Wait, that slump. wrong Disney film. Slumpy posture is just as bad inside as it looks outside. Oh no, it's turning so into the poster pal short the now. Function from the position that nature intended. Oh, that's great, Dutch. You'll make a perfect matchstick for sure with posture like that. You see, your reproductive organs lie between the rectum. Because all uteruses look like a deflated balloon with a straw in it. The will disturb the relationship between these organs. It takes more so than it should, just like 1940 plenty Germany. Water, eat plenty of fruit, and to include cereals and eggs and leafy vegetables in your daily diet. And don't include what we know you're thinking of including. It's smart to keep you know what we smart. mean. That well-groomed feeling will give you new poise and lift your morale. Because that's the only concern you have in your life. With year-round fresh air and sunshine, and plenty of rest and sleep. But sun has a the best face! The possible insurance against trouble on those days is healthy living every day. Be sure to smoke your back a day, too. Then the story. There's nothing strange nor mysterious about menstruation. Yes, yes there, there is. Built on cycles. And the menstrual cycle is one normal and natural part of nature's eternal plan for passing on the gift of life. I bet this wasn't the Cinderella story you or all the girls were hoping for. Yeah, that's one ugly baby. Compliments? I don't feel complimented at all! Zip-a-dee-dee-da, zip-a-dee-dee-dee. 
my, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine in my way. Zippity doo da, zippity yay, Mr. Bluebird's on my shoulder.